The results for the 1 million order contest on Code Arena just got released this week. This was a contest that ran a couple of months back. So around that time, I was only a month and a half into this whole smart contract auditing journey. So I didn't really have high expectations when I entered this contest. At that time, I think I didn't even find my first high severity finding yet on Code Arena. So I was uh, sort of just aiming for those uh, easy gas and QA optimization issues when I was uh, participating in this contest. So I didn't really know what to expect, but with the prize pool being so big, um, it was definitely worthwhile for me to participate even at that time where um, my skill level was a pretty newbie. So this was by far the biggest order contest that has ran on Code Arena. The previous largest one being 400k. Now these order contests, they differ from traditional bug bounties in the sense that by the end of the order contest, no matter what findings were submitted during that period, the full prize is going to be paid out to everyone who participated and submitted at least a valid finding. So unlike traditional bug bounties, you have to actually find the high severity bug to be able to qualify for the prizes. But this prize is guaranteed to be paid out by the end of the contest period, which makes it pretty lucrative if you can actually find those uh, high and medium severity findings, which uh, then you'll get a bigger share of the prize pool. So really big props to all the wardens who found medium and high severity issues for this contest. The first place coming in to a spare bit with a four man team. G, an old school warden who was participating around 2021. Now I say old school, um, but actually it was just literally last year, 2021. Um, when Code Arena was really new and there weren't many people participating in these order contests at that time. So we got this team from Sparebit with an old school warden picking up first place with a 292k. Now this was actually when I noticed a Sparebit was another a DAO, a sort of like Code Arena where they um, do audits for uh, smart contracts, but for Sparebit, there's this, this sort of application process where you have to apply and be accepted into the DAO to be able to uh, join. Where Code Arena, you pretty much um, just sign up with a Discord name and then you get registered and you can join in these order contests. And second place going to a brand new warden whose first competition they entered got two high severity findings and taking home 246k, which is pretty amazing. Third place going to C. Michelle who came out of retirement for this particular contest. Now the next couple of names I'm not very familiar with. I think some of these people came in relatively recently to Code Arena. And then further down, we've got the regulars bagging around 20K. And scrolling down to rank 24, there's me with my 2.3K for this audit contest, which is pretty crazy to think about, honestly. Like every time I get these large rewards from Code Arena, it's a bit jarring because I've only been doing this for three to four months and landing these big bounties so early on um, yeah, that kind of just boggles my mind. And I guess OpenSea is kind of like a one-off competition with a $1 million prize pool. Usually order contests on Code Arena go between 50 to 100K. So I think this was just a bit of a one-off and the last bit of easy money that was available on Code Arena. So moving forward, um, the competition has been heating up and it's going to be hard to be um, getting these uh, 1k plus payouts unless you're able to find uh, unique high or medium severity findings uh, because if you get a lot of people finding the same finding your rewards just get slashed down to nothing and recently with the increase in competition it's been hard like 
um, getting a decent payouts on Code Arena. Um, even uh, with uh, some medium and high severity findings uh, recently, I haven't really been getting paid uh, too much for those. Yeah, but this one, um, it's kind of funny. Um, this came right after I made uh, the video where I said the easy money on Code Arena is probably all gone now. Um, but no, like I said, this is just a one-off. Um, we're not going to be seeing uh, prize pools like this very often. But really, um, you know, just uh, grateful that I was in the right place at the right time and was able to uh, participate in this uh, order contest. It was a uh, super cool um, experience, even though at that time, um, like I said, pretty new. And still, I'm learning quite a lot now with um, almost every order contest that I participate in. So pretty awesome result and I just wanted to make this quick video to share this little win with you guys. And um, moving forward, I mentioned in my previous video I have been working on a script to automatically generate these QA and gas optimization reports. Now that script has been coming on along very nicely and better than I expected. And um, in the next competition, I'll be able to roll it out and see how it does. I'll share more details with you guys um, on how the script works, how I made it, um, if the results are good. I do have a pretty good feeling about it though. Um, like I said, much better results than I expected. So it's going to be pretty amazing to be able to generate these QA and gas optimization reports automatically in every competition and only have to spend like five to ten minutes formatting it and then um, for these future order contests I'll be able to really focus my time on the medium and high severity findings to see if I can uh, pull out some of these unique findings to get um, those big payouts again. So yeah, look forward to sharing more results with you guys as I make more progress on this platform. Having a lot of fun. Um, every time I feel I am sort of hitting a dead end, there seems to be a little uh, breakthrough or a small win like this that really keeps me uh, motivated and um, makes me want to uh, do more on this platform and just keep uh, making progress in this field.